I wonder if I can join that competition because... No, I tried. You tried? It came back and I was like, what are you doing? You can't. Oh no, but anyway, no. let me stick to things I can do, which is the kitchen. <laughs> now today we, make, we take a modern twist on an Italian classic and it's all about the vegetables. Chef Kim has promised that the Balga wheat risotto is the dish of the future and I can't wait to try it. It's so satisfying and you'll be forgiven for thinking you're cheating. Yes. It's so good, it like hugs you properly, just mm. makes you feel good and then you don't feel like bad about the fact that... You're eating. You know... Vegetables in. So let me talk about what's go going on in the pot already. <laughs> I've got some leeks. I'm uh, loving leeks right now. Mm. They're the more gentle, subtle cousin of the onion. Yes. So it's more sweeter, more perfumey. Not as I'm going to make you cry like an onion does. I hate cutting onions, but I love eating onions. Okay. So if we can, you know, hook it up here there with, we go. The lentil, with the leeks, I'm for it. They're going to be your best friend. Yeah. Then I've got some garlic in there, about six cloves. I love garlic. Yeah. I don't play. We six all love garlic. In. Weren't we speaking yesterday that if your recipe does not have at least two cloves of garlic, it's not a real recipe. It's not a real recipe. Yeah, Someone's we, lying. We don't recognize you. It's April you. the 1st. It's <laughs> April the 1st. So we've got some bulgur wheat over here. Um. Amazing cracked wheat, high in fiber. Makes it a great, amazing substitute to like rice. Yes, yeah. And I feel like if you have a salad and you add this to it, it, it immediately becomes like a main meal. Yeah, it, and a lot more filling. So filling. Yeah. So that's going in there. Nice. And you're going to treat it just like you would risotto rice. Okay. So once it goes into your pot, the mission then is to start stirring to actually toast the grain All like right. you would the boreal rice. Okay, so you don't get, boil it, you exactly, toast it. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Let the, the garlic and the leeks and the bulgur wheat like get to know each other a bit. Mm. And you want to see those grains. Okay. You want them to be shiny. When I they're shiny, that. you know it's got that oil, it's got that flavor on there. Next step. Well what coated. do we got? So mm. we've got some Tender wine. Skin. Oh. And this wine, remember we spoke about the sulfur-free vegan wines? Yes, while back? yes. There we go, that's our white wine. Perfect. And Chef Kim, it is October and a lot of people are taking part in October where okay. they're staying clean of all alcohol. Mm -hmm. So with this recipe, are they still safe? Yes, because all the alcohol is cooked out. If yes. you are being that pedantic about using alcohol, don't use it. Take okay. it out. Okay. It's just no, a little bit. This is just a background flavor that you're going to get from the wine, but it's not essential, not critical to the recipe. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Take but it I out. mean, if you are cooking out the alcohol, then it, you're just left with the flavor. So I think all Oxoba members, you can yeah. try this at home. And to try it at home, SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, and free SMSs do not apply. They don't. Can I please get. Yes the jug with the stock. Yeah. So previously, you know, you get beef stock, chicken stock, and vegetable stock. Yes. So now if you're kind of lacking and you're missing that like beefy flavor, they've now got a mushroom concentrate. Really? Smell that? Yum. Yo, that's so, it smells beefy. It smells so beefy, I'm fooled. That's so are. gorgeous, Kim. So that's going in. Okay. And now we're gonna keep on stirring like we would a risotto, and that actually agitates the grain, releases the starches, which makes it kind of like thick and ooey and gooey. Mm, nice. So the trick, uh, like, unfortunately now, you are in the kitchen stirring. Yeah. But you know you can be watching us on YouTube right now. 100%. Just doing your thing. Which I hope you are streaming us live on YouTube. Guys, it's in HD. It's in HD, And yeah. you can zoom in. Maybe I don't want you guys to zoom in. Because then, like, I need to be looking as fly as Leanne to zoom in. So don't zoom in. Just zoom in on the cooking. There <laughs> on we the go. Food. <laughs> no, man. Guys, zoom in. It's amazing. It's perfect. Cool. That's going to keep on going. Like I said, it's going to release all those beautiful flavors. Nice. The liquid's going to keep on reducing. So one thing I did was quite naughty. I normally add about a cup of liquid at a time. Keep on stirring. Once a cup is reduced, okay. add the next cup. Nice. I think I added like a cup and a half by accident. So don't <laughs> add it all in once. Yeah. Let it do its thing. Okay. And you'll see by the time you've used about two cups of stock, the bulk mm. of wheat will be like nice and soft, not too soft, like you can't, like no Mushy. texture. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You want to keep some of the texture in there. Yeah. Then let's talk about the veggies, because it is about the veggies. All about the veggies. So I've got some beetroot and I've got some pumpkin. Okay. Loving on pumpkin right now. Sweet In sweet dishes, savory okay. dishes. Also like in America, you know, we're heading to October. They love their pumpkin, everything, pumpkin. Yeah, because we yada, are, yada. you know, Heating up to Halloween. Yeah. You know. I just like eating it. I don't really care about Halloween. Yeah, I me just want too. the pumpkins. <laughs> so there we go. So I roasted them up in the oven. A little okay. bit of my um, mixed herb spice over there. Salt and pepper, olive mm. oil. Got that all mixed in there. Broccoli. Because broccoli is just so easy yeah. right now. Power food. And adds so much flavor to the dish. Yeah. So the idea is like once it's nice and reduced, you add your veggies to it. Nice. Let them get, like again, let the veggies warm up through the, the risotto. Mm. But now risotto normally finishes with a parmesan cheese, a bit of that creaminess. Mm. We're not doing that because we're keeping it plant-based. Okay. The dairy-free tomato and basil cream cheese. Yum. You stir that through. It's so creamy. Can and it's I made just... out of coconut oil. I want to kind of have a taste. It's so delicious. It melts on your tongue like crazy. There's a little spoon over there for you. Please tell the people 
How it tastes. How it tastes. Oh, do you know what? I'm having this on my crackers. I'm having this on my toast. Literally in everything. It's creamy, it's soft, it's light, but still packs that flavor Yeah, punch. exactly. You, mm. you can take that on. You can take yes, Clem, that's why you're my favorite. So that's our dish done. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. Done and dusted. Done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Remember to get the list, list of ingredients and link to the recipe. It's the keyword eat 233650. Otherwise, over to you, Leanne.